Hey everybody, it's Josh from Collection DX. Uh, it's been a little while, I've been a little busy. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed the great reviews by our other Collection DX reviewers. We're all equally talented. Um, but I'm back today, I have a new review to show you. And today we're going to be talking about... Look at that, huh? Dieton 3. This is a, a very big soul scope and it's Chobukin, it's GX53 by Bandai. Um, of course, this is, it's an empty box right now, but um, very nice box. You know, but not as thick as you would think for such an epically large toy. So, the toy itself is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Loads of metal. Um, it's huge. I mean, it's a life size. It's as big as my head. It's big. It's just a bit sexy. There we go. He's angry. He's got the angry face on right now. But it's a uh, it's a pretty epic toy. It's it's awesome, um, and its weight and the transformation is really cool. Of course, there's a few nitpicks, things that they could have done a little better, but um, as a rule, it's really nice. So we are going to walk you through the Solo Chogokin Daitan 3. Check it out. One, two, three. Gentlemen, Daiton 3. He's very awesome. Have I said he's awesome? He's awesome. So, um, not to dawdle, let's take you through some of the high points here. So, Daitarn, uh, you know, I'll do this over here, it looks a little better, is a Chogokin, so as such, he has a lot of metal. So, how much metal? So, the front plate. Um, is metal. The upper back plate is metal. The uh, legs, metal. Feet, metal. I mean, when I say the feet are metal, like literally, this is a block of metal. It's solid. The legs are pretty solid. He's just awesome. So let's go through some of the basic articulation of Daitarn, um, which is actually really nice. So swivel biceps, clicky shoulders. The hands are uh, one of the weak spots, I think, of the toy. Not terribly weak, but see, what it is is they're made out of these panels that uh, you have to kind of pull out in place and the wrists go back for a certain type of weapon attack but you have individually articulated fingers which is pretty nice and a movable thumb however the thumb comes out kinda easy uh... be wary of that the other hands are um, rubber and what you do with this is like Voltus I think the other one was you push it in you fill it with a plate and then you plug the new fist onto the plate. But for the purpose of this review, we're just going to use the actual hands. Now, another thing that kind of sucks is you'll notice here now that I've got the, the fist. And back to articulation. So, as I was saying, 
I don't like the fact that the hand gets stuck in there. Um, it'd be nice if it had a lever or something to slide it out. It doesn't. So another cool joint it has is, you know, shoulder. Comes out. Nice. And the pads are meant to kind of really stay like that. But, you know, they obviously can move up a little bit for you to move around. The head, you have a nice um, range of motion. There are two face plates. I'm leaving the angry face on right now. But you just pry it up from the chin. It pops right off. You get a kind of more stoic face. Um, legs are cool and heavy. So you get a fair amount of articulation in the knee. And the hip actually does pull out a little bit um, to give you a little more articulation there. But it has a wide range going this way. So when you see it kind of spread out, you know, you can do some pretty cool poses actually. You know, for a big Gokin, you don't normally get, you know, that level of articulation. It's pretty tight. Feet, so you can pull them out. Let me get you the foot I'm working on here a little bit and then you pull this down a little bit and then now you can uh, articulate the uh, ankle a little bit to get something a little more dynamic so he's massive and impressive which is great he's got a boatload of accessories um, which I am not gonna show you all of but I'll show you a couple so he's got a um, Ball and chain. He's got uh, swords. Um, swords are interesting because they have a hilt that closes. But check out the blade to this, right? Look at this. Really, really flimsy blade. I don't know what's up with that. Nicely chromed, but flimsy. And you can still see a little, a little focus on that, but you can see a little sprue mark on the edge there. So maybe it could have been a little better. With the QC, I don't know. You got this bad boy, nice long, uh, tri kind of trident looking thing. Um, what else do we have? We have, oh, what's out? We have handcuffs, kind of things that open and close. And you, it comes with these cables that you can put like between the units. And look at the still uh, picture review on Collection DX to see this in action because it's kind of neat. Uh, and the uh, most involved, yet probably most baffling accessories are these uh, fan pieces. So basically, he starts off with this one, and then he kind of flicks it, and it's a little bit more spread out. And he can flick it even more, and it's kind of half a fan. And then he can even flick it a little more and make a full fan. And there's a little clip in here that holds it together. Um, he doesn't hold it well. I kind of don't use them. I kind of don't really care for them. I'm sure if you weigh into the show, you're like, Oh my god, he's hit the fan stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've never seen the show. I just know I like me some cool robots, and this is, in fact, a cool robot. So, but Josh, what does he do? Well, I'll tell you, he transforms. He transforms pretty well with a minimum of parts swapping. Um, like all SOCs, there's the desire to be have the appearance of the look of the show balanced with the desire to have a reasonably compact, self-contained transformation. It wasn't always the case, but lately it's been the case. So, while you can transform Ditarn without, you know, some part swapping, you really want to, you know, to make it look right. So, first thing we're going to do is transform into the jet mode. And here's how we're gonna do it, okay? One, two, three! Titan three! Namida wa nai, namida wa nai, ashita ni hohoemi aru dake. Come fiat, Titan three! ダイタンスリー日輪の輝きを胸に秘め俺の体が俺の体が燃えている戦え戦え宇宙の果てに消えるとも
Dai Tansi, Wale to Ari, Abatake o Zorae, Dai Chio Kete. しくない悲しくない明日に希望があるだけ楽しやつ大胆すぎ大胆すぎ日知りの輝きを背に向けて俺の体の俺の体の血が騒ぐ打てよ地獄の底に落ちると思う輝く銀河を突き抜けて大胆し我とあり羽ばたけ大空へ愛を抱いて There you go. And there you go. Diatons jet mode. It's big, it's exciting, it's heavy. It really doesn't look like much anything that you would ever recognize. But it is what it is. A little neat feature. You can see underneath. There's a little door right here. This door opens up if you have fingernails. And it's basically like an entrance for one of the ships that for the, well, the ship that comes with the um, some of the time. So, all right, here we are. Here we are. What do we want to see next? Well, how would you like to see tank mode? Let's do tank mode next. Let's One, two, three. Titan three. You have these uh, in the legs. You have these cannons that come out. All right, what's this? Well, look, there's a cannon. Oh, wait. No, wait. Look at that. Where the hell did that come from? The same thing on the other side. Now, if you pull these things a little too tightly, um, they'll, they'll pop out. Like so. Just gonna pop the shit back in. And it'll pop back out again. There you go. Woohoo, tank mode. Horribly exciting, isn't it? I think it's cool. It's heavy. Rolls. You know, it kinda does its thing. Whee! Um, <laughs> these look a little out of whack, but you just have to kinda rotate them to their the way they should be. I think I was drunk during this review or something, and I'm so not. Although after it, I may need one.
Not because this is a bad toy, but just because I'm doing a bad review. Yeah. So yeah, that's the tank mode. Diatarn, Diatarn, not Diatarn, Diatarn 3, Soul of Chogo Keen, GX something or other, 53, 53, available for you from Hobby Link Japan, my good pals there, always take care of us, we love them, and you should love them too, and have a lot of cool sp sales and specials lately. Especially if you sign up for their little PayPal billing agreement. Always doing cool shit with that. So check it out at uh, hlj.com, Hobby Link Japan. So in conclusion, this is a rockin' piece. It is really fun. It is metal. It may be a little persnickety at times, but that is the nature of these large SOCs. If you do not like it, do not buy them because it ain't going to change. They are coming out with their new line of uh, Super Robot Chigokin for smaller, less articulate, less expensive, less complicated robots. If that's your thing, perhaps you may want to wait for that line. If you like your robots large and full of metal and transforming and lots of accessories, and somewhat expensive, then this is in fact the soul of Jigokin that you want. He is Dietarn 3 and he has come to kick your ass. This is Josh from Collection DX. I need to go to bed. Oh, wait, I forgot. I'm almost done. A little car called Mock Patrol, a little police car. It's like a Hot Wheels sized car. It's dainty, isn't it cute? This is an awesome piece of engineering. It's amazing what they've done here. I think it's actually somewhat metal, too. The, the, the top part of this frame is metal, so check it out. It's a little Hot Wheels car, you know, um, that transforms into uh, a ship. So first thing you can kind of do, and I think this is like a, 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 its own mode, is you, you, know, you get the little engines out in the back, okay? So that's pretty awesome. Engines in the back. But what you can do now is take these side pieces off. Not off, take them down. Pull that up. And pull out these little wings. Okay. That's pretty spiffy, don't you think? I think so too. So you think that's spiffy. You think, wow, look at the engineering that has come into play here, okay? Um, you know, obviously it's not in scale with the SOC. I mean, look at the, it can be the feet. It's clearly not in scale, you know? But they did provide one that is in scale. Ready? Look at that. Can I get in on that? Let's see. Yeah, that's about as good as I'm going to get. So, and they even provided, for some reason, it in all three stages of transformation. Um, they are honestly about as long as a good-sized grain of rice. No lie. Yeah, there's some comparison for you. Ready? Check this out. That's a quarter. So, fully painted, fully detailed on both sides. Yeah, you're gonna lose those. Tiny. Oh, there's another. I keep forgetting stuff. So, Dieton also has a little secret um, compartment with a little ship that's removable there. So, it's another. It's a ship or a missile or something. So, it's got lots of little stuff. All right? Is that everything? That's everything. Good. Great. Fine. Dieton 3. Review. Collection DX. Josh B. Hobby Link Japan. Metal. Tired. Goodbye. What's the three? I can't get the damn thing out. So, <laughs> so I got to use some kind of appliance to uh, pull it out. Um, I don't know what this is, so but I'm going to use it. It's kind of yucky. So basically, I just use some kind of sharp thing to grab a finger. And then when you get the finger out, you can uh, just pull the rest of it out. Unless you have big sausage fingers like me. If you got little nimble fingers, you'll probably do all right. Me, not so much. 
And of course, this is being a bitch right now, isn't it? No, it's okay. It's not like I'm doing a video review or anything. It's not like, you know, you're on camera. Seriously, I gotta get a thing for this. <sighs> Fuck. Uh, articulate the uh, ankle a little bit to get something a little more dynamic. So that's neat. So articulation is good. That is stinks right there. You didn't see that. These bars and push them in like so. See? Don't do that. <laughs>